Hello everybody, this is Chris Master 4 here. Welcome to Chris Master 4's take on, or put my opinion in everyone's mind. This is an interesting video that I'm going to make. I haven't done one of these in like years, but I feel like it's warranted this time around. A couple days ago from today, which is the 7th, a little person called Angry Joe talked about, or he did a little let's play of Mario Party 10. I haven't seen it. I mean, I'm subscribed to the guy. I like his reviews. I like what he does. I think it's kind of funny. Well, his stick is kind of there. But it got taken down because, you, because Nintendo tagged it with copy ID claim. And uh, he decided, I'm going to take it down, and then I'm going to make another video discussing how I will never make another Nintendo video again, and he goes on to explain his reasons. His reasons being, I paid all this money for consoles, for the console, for the Amiibo, for the controllers, and everything that, would, that he's given money to Nintendo for the games, so he shouldn't have to give them ad revenue for his video he, sh he shouldn't have to do that that's what that's what his logic is and he's saying that Nintendo's policies are back ass words and that because of that he 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 won't ever make a Nintendo video because he doesn't want to give them the free press that they deserve because of it and he says he goes even on to say, oh, I love my Wii U, I love about all these things. I love my Wii U, I love how it's given me more enjoyment than other consoles that I've had with my PS4 and Xbox One combined. I watched the video when it came out, because uh, he posted the thing on his Twitter, uh, on Facebook from his Twitter, about the... Uh, picture that he's never going to give again that he did the rant video and I am completely surprised at how popular it got like Kota like Kotaku again late to the news all the time talked about it uh, and that got some attention and then I just recently today like a couple minutes ago Saw a video from The No, the Angry Joe linked back. Um, I I don't know I don't know, I don't know what the crap it was on about. I really don't. It sounded very cynical, really. Those two people. I apologize. Those. Two people that, uh, those two people, they were, I believe, part of Rooster Teeth. I've, I've never seen the note before, but Angry Joe uh, linked this in. And I think the way that they were tackling the issue is kind of, as they quote, fishy, stupid. I mean, if you're going to give news, you should try to have an unbiased opinion of said news that you're bringing. But that's a, I digress. They were talking about it and they were basically saying it's his fault. They were, they were basically saying in their newscast that Angry Joe is completely at fault for making the video uh, and not being in Nintendo's system. To and he's like, oh, you can't expect them to just steal a little revenue. Like, I understand if you're giving the news and if you're giving your own, if you're, your own unbiased opinion. But that doesn't give you the right to act like a, like a jackass in front of probably hundreds of thousands of people. And to be like that and just have this... Baby, I'm happy. You know, you shouldn't have done this. Attitude. Because it doesn't work like that. It makes you come off as an asshole. But anyway. 
that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. I'm not here to talk to you about the issue. I'm here to talk to you about my opinion on the issue. Now, feel free to talk in the comment section about it. Feel free to discuss if you want. I'm just giving you my take on this whole issue that's been going on for too long. And I don't, I really didn't expect it to get this big, but I feel like this needed to be talked about. I really do. So first off, I personally think both parties are at fault. I personally think both parties are at fault. Usually I have an optimistic appeal to this, but I, I have a very, very little optimistic appeal about this whole issue. I think Andrew, I think Angry Joe has made gr good points. He has made good points about the whole, oh, I shouldn't have to give them more money or I shouldn't have, they shouldn't have to take ad revenue from me if I don't, uh, if I don't go through the creative program and, and quote, have it approved by Nintendo. Like he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have had the ad revenue taken from him. Nintendo has been off the ball on many occasions. Especially when they tried to, when they literally tried to, I, I forget if it was to, to remove or to, like, there was something bad with Let's Players that I noticed the past couple of years. They got so much flack for it that they stopped doing it. Get on them. Because Nintendo has just been back ass words when it comes to the internet community. I love Nintendo. You, you guys should know this. I love Nintendo. I will buy all of their merchandise. I'll, I will do anything for them. But there are just some things that need to be changed. With... He also brings up that... Um, I haven't seen the video in forever. I'm just going off of my memory of it. He... I don't know. His... I guess because it's his... Uh, in his title that he needs to be angry but I, I get that being angry is your thing but I felt like I don't know maybe it's just because me maybe it's just because it's me but I would never really I thought that his attitude was harsher even for his even for his thing like because I've seen a couple of his reviews his angry reviews and in his in his rant, he seemed like a more disappointed and very. It's like he didn't even go shouting. He was just sort of like natural angry, like naturally just disappointed. And his and his attitude towards Nintendo was a little out of line, in my opinion. But again, that's his character. But I also think he's a little bit in the wrong too. Honestly, I do think he sh I do think that he should have known that I do think that he should have known that he that because he put the video on YouTube that it would get either tagged or something and his ad revenue would be taken. He could have disputed it. He could have disputed it with Nintendo calling it a fair use. And if that didn't work, then you can talk about it. But whatever. I don't think that, I mean, I would never, I would never call him out by being fishy or stupid because he, of things he, okay, he should have known it, yeah, call him out on that, but don't, don't antagonize him, don't make him be like the bad guy because... I'm sure that he's. I'm sure that he's raking off all the money from the ad revenue, of the rant from the video because of the ad revenue taken from it. But I don't know. I think both parties are at fault to some extent. And honestly, I would have talked about Nintendo's uh, system in a whole other video.
I should have talked about it, but I didn't. Because I was still new to it, and I thought, oh, now they have something that everyone can be in. Because I was planning on going into it before I read in before I read in all the really, really, really fishy stuff in their contract. So I, I didn't. Nintendo, I love you dearly. I, I love you. I love all that you've done. You are my childhood, and you made me be able to appreciate and love video games for what they are. For being fun, for being entertaining, for being with friends. I love all the work that you do. But get out of the fucking gutter. It's been like five years, and you're still... Stuck in the past. Please. I don't know how else to say it. I really don't. Nintendo has always been like this when it comes to social media. They have always been stuck in the past. They have always been trying to mooch off money from other people. That's not how... Nintendo should be. They have enough money. Yeah, they're losing money, but they have over $10 billion. They have enough to go to lose money for many, many years and still survive as a company. They have so many. They have all of the monies, and yet they're steal they're no not stealing. They're trying to bake back the money by ad revenue and monetizing stuff because some of my Skyward Sword videos were tagged. I still left them up because I you know I'm not gonna go all out on those. I mean I just I've disputed them, some of them at the very least. But whatever. And I don't think Angry Joe, I think he's trying to make the ad revenue back by making the rant. Which, I guess, I don't know. I don't think it's the best idea, but uh, whatever. The thing is, is that it's his, that YouTube is basically his job. So, if he doesn't make the money, then he can't get things. And that's his job. So... I can understand from his perspective why he would be so upset, at least more than other people. Because this is his job, so making money off of YouTube is how he makes money. And he needs the views and he needs the ad revenue from those that generated from those views to get him the money that he needs. I can see his perspective on it. I'm not against it. I'm not against it, but... I, I want, I, I mean, me personally, I want to grow into that, but I want to have a backup plan. I don't want to, I mean, it would be great if I was strictly on YouTube making Nintendo videos, but that's kind of been non-existent now. So I want to have a backup plan for that when I go, when I end up becoming a little bit more popular on YouTube. However, as it stands... Angry Joe needs to buckle up and stop whining about it. He, he needs to buckle down, stop whining about this whole issue. Because I see, I am passing, like when I'm on Facebook, I, I see all of his tweets. Because he puts them on Facebook as well. I see all of his tweets in passing, and they're all about the issue. And he's whining and he's talking about, oh, everyone says, screw me because I'm wrong. We get it. We get it. We get it. I mean, I, I love what you do. I sometimes watch your videos and I, was, I laugh. And then you, or you give very insightful perspective. Like when you did that Worst Games of 2013 list. I like what you do, Joe. I do like what you do. But calm the fuck down. And on Nintendo's half, 
I don't really want anything bad to happen over in Nintendo Japan. But I seriously think that it needs a new president. Or, or, Iwata gets his crack, Iwata gets his crap together and starts actually taking in what other companies are doing with Let's Players and YouTubers. Look at what they're doing. Look at how much fun they're having. Look at how much publicity they're getting. I mean, I'm going to stay Nintendo fan for all of my life, no matter what happens. But I'm not blinded to see what's going on on Nintendo's end because they're not entirely... They're, they're, they aren't the blame entirely, but they should not be brushed off because Nintendo. Apparently, some people are saying that, oh, it's because it's Nintendo, we should just not talk about it. We should just brush it off because they don't do anything wrong. I think that was another point in, in, in Angry Joe's thing, video. But it's like... It's kind of true. Nintendo hasn't been doing well. So they're trying to make back the money through this. People are like, oh, Nintendo shouldn't do it. But if like EA does it, then everyone knows. But they're still going to get angry about it. I don't understand. I really don't know why we've come... We've come to a point now where we're blaming Nintendo for being for doing what they do best. We can't well I can't I can't really say that because then that would kind of contradict what I'm saying, but how I've been I've been doing the Nintendo videos that I've been doing so far have been pre Wii games. So I still get ad revenue. It's just is an older game. I I don't know. I really don't know. I want to continue on to other bigger AAA titles that I want to do with friends. I, I, I don't know. I really don't. Because I'm, I'm not going to get any money from it. But that's... I mean, for me, it's, hard, it's sort of a... Eh, I'll try again later, kind of deal. I'll try to dispute to see if I can get the money back. But honestly, just honestly, people are eating this up. People are hating either Nintendo or Angry Joe. One, it's it's like a huge one-sided dealy with many people. It's either Angry Joe is right, Nintendo sucks, or Nintendo is in the right, and Angry Joe is just being a whiny bitch. I mean, many things have made me upset at the at the internet for what they do. I just don't know. I I, I guess it's the 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 price to pay for being on the internet as long as you have been, noticing all these trends, not being impressed. But then once it builds and once it gets much worse, people start noticing these things and have a myopic view of how things are going. And then they start making their own biased judgments on the situation without knowing the full story on both ends. They start doing all this stuff and they don't realize what both parties are at right now. Because I've seen the video and I peered, peered, not not even distinctively went into the comment section. Just peered a bit at the comment section of Angry Joe's video when I first watched it when it came out. I've never, well, outside of being in the Bernie community, I've never seen so much hypocrisy that I have in that hypocrisy and 
like a, it was like a war. It was basically like the biggest flame war. Well, it may not be the biggest, but it, it was big. It was pretty big, like really big. And I'm pretty sure people are still doing it now. And across every video that's being made about it that's from popular people that is basically fueling the fire by not giving a biased opinion or unbiased opinion on the on the situation at hand. Because if you give a biased opinion that's in one favor, like completely one favor, and bashing the next, you're going to get hate from all sides. I'm sorry. Just, both of you should get your act together. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I'm probably not in the right here, but this is what I see. This is what I see. I love both people. I love what both people do. I'm a fan of both of their works, Nintendo's and Angry Joe's. But both of them are not in the right. Both of them have, have their flawed opinions, in my opinion. And people should stop, or at least wither down on the whole, let's get on the controversy. Because this is becoming, this is like, there was another issue that was like this a long time ago. I forget what, but. Basically, that's all I have to say on this. Just. Guys, Intel, it, Intelligate. Guys, teach yourself about this issue. Learn everything that you need to know about this. Learn about Nintendo's creative program. Learn about like what Angry Joe's done in the past. That way you get a full spectrum of what's going on. Because if you've only seen his one video, you're just gonna see him as this whiny person or whatever. But I've seen a bit. I know how Joe is like. A bit. And I've been with Nintendo for my entire life. So I know how they've been. And I still think both sides are not in the complete right here. But that, that, that's all I have to say on that. So. I don't know when this is going up. <sighs> it's probably going to go up within the, within the month of April. So at some point, maybe even today. I I just need to get this out there. I wanted to get it out there somehow. Because I haven't talked about the Nintendo Creator Program. I was going to, but people have talked about it already and have made better, better, much more constructed everything about it. They've done a better job on it than I could ever have done. With that said... Nintendo needs to get the shit together. Like, Iwata needs to do something, because it's not entirely Nintendo of America's fault. It's Nintendo of Japan that's still stuck, stricken in the past. And because it's mostly old people that are running the, that are running it in Japan. Mostly old people. And I wouldn't say overthrow them and put in new management. I would say either I hope Iwata actually sees what's happening in the West Coast and actually sees what's going on or have a division in Japan for social media how things so that they can keep up. That way they can keep up with the times and this is dealt okay. I'm sorry. This is delving into like two different issues. I'll talk about Nintendo's side on a completely later date. But for right now, Angry Joe is basically like, I don't know. Maybe he's eating this up. Maybe he's all like, ah, I fooled these people. And now they could get and give me money just for me ranting about it. who knows. I don't know. But this has been Chris Master 4. 
This has been my take on the Angry Joe versus Nintendo controversy. It's pretty much a controversy now, as how it's been stated. See you guys. See you guys next time for another video where it's less somber. And I don't sound like a freaking. Uh, I don't sound like that frog from Danger Mouse. Where they. Like that. <laughs> See you guys next time.